Nigerians are in high spirits as solo traveller Bellumi Nubi, who set a target to travel from London to Lagos via road, finally arrives Lagos after 68 days of being on the road. She's received at the Nigeria Seme border by a host of media houses, high-profile personalities and government officials as she arrives in her purple car dressed in a marching colored Ashoke jacket. Bellumi leads the convoy, and all roads lead to the University of Lagos, where she is received with a celebratory carnival on arrival. She seems determined to do this all over again, in spite of the challenges she faced along the journey. Honestly, I think we should do more audacious things as human. I think it's very important to step out of our comfort zone. I really wanted to explain the continent I was born into as well. I did not see enough representation. I didn't know people that look like me, so I wanted to do that. You know, showcase our beautiful continent to people. And by road allows you the freedom to stop whenever you choose to. Um, I decided to use the same car I've had because I didn't want that to stop me. Use the things you have, use the equipment you have. And yeah, I just wanted to document it so other people will be inspired to step out of their comfort zone and do brilliant things. And you know, audacious things as well. Bellumi's father, Professor Timothy Nubi, smiling with a sigh of relief, recounts the sleepless nights he experienced during her 68 days of traveling from London to Nigeria by road. We were the security that we put in place, that we followed her every hour. She would send the Google map of where she's sleeping, in the forest, in the desert, anywhere. So, first person to call for the morning. The morning, the night was well. Then I'm moving now. So, when she gets to the next settlement, she will tell it's a journey together for the last two, two months. So, we can, that's why I said we can sleep now. Chairman of Nigerians and Diaspora Commission, Abike W. Erewa, who was on ground to receive Balumi Nubi, commends her on her achievement applauding her for being an inspiration to women all over the world. My Lumi, in fact, I buy everything. I buy a woman. <laughs> you know, just sitting down there, having the first female vice chancellor of the University of Lagos to, to your um, right, having me seated just next to you, in between two amazing women. Aren't we just proud? Nigerian women! And Pelumi, indeed, you are an achiever. What more can I tell you? Thank you for inspiring us. Thank you for making us know that you can be what you want to be. You can achieve anything you want to achieve. Nothing will stop you but yourselves. Children, adults, people from all walks of life are all amazed at this great feat that Pelumi Nubi has achieved and the celebration of her courage is what is on the lips of many.